<clears throat> Geometry piece, 1111. Again, the third piece in the course. I'm looking at page 21. I'm indebted to Mr. Bill Root, who is a math teacher in an ACE school in, uh, in Illinois, I believe. And uh, he shared with me that he's very familiar with where the trouble spots are in geometry. And he sent a list. I printed it out. Here it is. And for this particular piece, he mentions that here on page 21, um, students are often kind of intimidated by this idea of having to do formal proofs. And uh, so it's number seven, eight, nine, and 10. There's four of them on this page. And so it looks like, oh, this is an easy page. And, and then you realize, whoa, there's maybe a lot more work here than I realized, okay? And they don't, they don't have laid out for you like they do on some of these others. Um, the box, and maybe they provide the statement and you give the reason or vice versa. It's, it's kind of like uh, some of these on page 19. But for some reason, he said page 21 is especially intimidating. So let's just remember a couple of the important steps here. And um, do these on notebook paper. Give yourself plenty of room, all right? Don't um, try to squish things together. Start with the statement this, um, of, the, of what's given, okay? Let me write that word in here. <clears throat> and the problem will always give you that. So given, angle two is supplementary to, and then you just write that over here, the given information, all right? Then look ahead to see what are we supposed to prove, and you know that's going to be your last step. And so then you got to think backwards and say, okay, if I'm going to prove that that's going to go to that, what do I have to know to get to that point? What do I have to know to get to that? And uh, look at the diagram for some clues to see what will be, what will help you to get there. And then it does tell us that we're going to use theorem 15 and theorem 16. So right away, look at page um, 20. And notice the blue boxes there. Theorem 15 says, if a transversal intersects two lines so that the alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. And Theorem 16 says, if a transversal intersects two lines so that the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. So this sounds a lot like the um, theorems 11 and 12 that we talked about back on page 11 and 12. And that's kind of the converse though. So if we can prove that two angles are congruent, uh, then we can prove that the lines are parallel, all right? So we're gonna somehow use those. So as you're thinking through these, um, kind of have that in mind that you're going to incorporate those somehow and then uh, I would suggest just doing it on scratch paper first and think it through okay and then of course your conclusion is going to be you know have the, the dot 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 which means therefore or now we can conclude and you have your final statement then before you do your final draft okay especially if you're homeschooling and you don't have a teacher who's confident with this do as much as you can on your own, and then take what you've written and then look at the score key, all right? Because the score key has all those steps laid out and compare what you've done with what they have and try to get the logic that they're using in mind, all right? Um, the, 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 the solution manual, the score key in geometry often needs to be part of your teaching resource, okay? So then put it aside and once you've thought through the logic of what am I doing, you're not just copying it from the score key, okay, that would be cheating, but you've gotten some hints, you've gotten some help on how do I need to think this through. Then go back and try to develop your logical reasoning steps, um, statements, and the reasons given for that. You'll also notice in the score key, whether it's you know, just a couple of steps or multiple steps, and that'll kind of give you a clue as well. Um, so honestly, when I have had students go through this in my learning center and I don't have time, I'll mention to them, you know, lay it out as best you can first and then go to the score key and take a peek at it and just see if there's a step you've missed, if your order is correct, if you're on the right track and then put it aside and go back and do it 
on separate paper and very nice and neat, okay? Not sloppy, lay it out very organized to make sure all your steps are covered. And then when you're ready, go up and score your final draft. Okay, hopefully that helps.